In today's episode of Blender Add-ons, we're gonna talk about a free and useful add-on called Bake a Node. This add-on helps you with the shading and texturing process, which is probably the hardest and most mysterious part of Blender for newbies and beginners. So, as the name suggests, it generates a texture starting from the node shader using the Cycles engine. Usually, in most cases, after installing an add-on, a tab will be added automatically to the end panel of the 3D workspace, but this time around, it will appear in the shader editor. To be able to use it, first you have to choose a node that generates the texture you want to bake, then simply click with the mouse on the bake node button, which you will find in the new tab. By the way, you can set the resolution and control both samples and ions margin, and choose which device will perform the task, either the GPU or the CPU and the output. To shorten the path for you and see the results immediately, you can check Replace Node with the Bake Result, which will generate an image texture node of the Bake Texture and link it directly to the output. But there is also another option for changing the UV maps of the texture. Now let's talk about how can this add-on be useful. First of all, this add-on for sure will save you a lot of time. Imagine that you have a node tree. To bake it, you don't have to exit the shader node and go to the render properties anymore. It will also make your setup much more cleaner. You don't have to work with more than four windows, and at least you will not have to add another one for baking purposes. So you don't have to add an image texture and select your bake textures manually from now on to see the result, because this will be done automatically for you with the add-on. Bacon node also minimizes the distracting elements in your scene and bakes the nodes into a texture immediately with just one click. Plus, it is free, so you don't have nothing to lose. So that was a quick overview of the add-on, and if you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos similar to this one. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.